Okay, so my other video, I had just run this constant 12 volt. It's now through the dash. Watch the other video to see my method for that. I've found, just with my own personal experience, you pros may actually correct me on this. I've found if it needs a fuse on this wire, it will already come on the wiring harness for the stereo itself. That's what I've found personally. Like I said, you pros may correct me on this. Uh, it's also, another note, like I said in the other video, it's probably not a good idea to have your stereo just hanging there. Uh, anyway, so... I thought I was having a problem, like some of you might have a problem with your memory, storing your memory. Um, my other video was how to run a 12 volt uh, constant wire if you need it. Um, I thought I was having a problem with that. It turns out my wiring was wrong on my other stereo harness, so I thought my wiring was correct. Turns out my wiring is actually flipped around on this one. So what I did was I made my own 12 volt constant. This runs straight to the fuse box. Um, this is my ground. I made this myself actually as well. The I don't know if you can see it or not, but the bolt is right back there. There is a light circuit tester hooked up to it right now so you might not be able to see it that well uh best thing i ever bought actually for this by the way twenty dollars uh not a bad investment you can check all your wiring um for those of you who don't know how to check your wiring obviously the black is my ground um since i already know what these are we're going to show you the 12 volt constant has, let's see if I can do this one handed. Um, it lights up when you touch the probe to it. Um, you just need to connect the probe to a good ground, something on the chassis, whatever you can. Um, and then this red wire here, actually has nothing yet okay so that is going to be our ignition wire and if you see and if I can get it turned on okay uh, now we have power and it lights up okay so that is our ignition wire that goes to the red so to make it easier on myself since I figured out these wires uh, without a wiring harness obviously mine's been cut off because I'm not using the factory stereo speakers either um, or the wire I've got all brand new wiring ran I wish I would have made videos of that but a little late uh, anyway so these wires we know exactly where to hook up um, also, try and make sure your 12 volt constant does not touch any metal um, or ground. It will throw off sparks. It could possibly blow your fuses, uh, etc., etc. Anyway, so that's my fix. Um, for those of you, the uh, video is actually about the memory so for those of you who don't know if your wires these two wires here are backwards your stereo will turn on um but it will not hold the memory it, it will reset every time um so the best thing to do take the stereo out like i have um Cut off the wires, 
or well you don't even have to if you have an access point you can stick a, a probe in like this one um i would recommend just doing that real quick first save yourself the trouble of cutting wires and uh stripping them and all that and getting them ready um anyway we're going to connect this back up and hopefully it works correctly after this all right thanks for watching